Hey, hey up. Welcome or welcome back. And you find me today, yet again, upon my CF Motor 800 MT. Just nipped in Trut Route 59 Cafe for a little bottle of apple juice and uh, having a, a chat with a gentleman there who uh, couldn't believe what you get for your money with these ear bikes. <laughs> I said, if you want one, you're going to have to wait while December. Because they're so popular, they're pretty much sold out everywhere. Unless you can find some old stock. But yeah, fantastic value for money. Which <laughs> value for money? <coughs> Excuse me. A little touch of the bowler there. Uh, yeah, uh, value for money. Which uh, sort of uh, brings me on to uh, the new BMW R1300 GS Adventure. And thanks for all your comments on that little uh, first impressions video that I did on the new BMW. And by heck, you, you didn't hold back with your opprobium. You didn't hold back with your opprobium about its looks. <laughs> Virtually nobody agreed with me. I think it looks great. But then, uh, one thing I am not is uh, conventional. <laughs> I do like things to be just a little bit different. And uh, so that to, uh, it tickled my pickles from that perspective. But yeah, to get that bike with the same spec as this bike, it would cost 25 grand. And 25 grand is a lot more than eight and a half grand. So if you want that there, new uh, R1300 GS Adventure with uh, all the luggage, and uh, all the uh, cutting edge electronics, all the functionality. You know, the electronic suspension, TPMS, extra riding modes, yada yada yada, all of that stuff. Gonna come in at about the £25,000 mark. And uh, if you want to get somewhat nearer to the electronic functionality of bikes like that, just get yourself one of these Aucci's, which, uh, if you look back at um, two or three videos, you'll see my video on this bit of kit here how to fit it and what it does for you which gives you Apple CarPlay or Android Auto so whatever you've got on your phone you get on here as well and you also get forward and rear facing video cameras with a record function so uh, if you want something like this, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, if you look at that video, if you go back and look at that video and follow the link in the description, you will get 18% off, 18% off, using the discount code TBW18, TBW18. 18% off. So go have a look at that. Hey, hey, now, while I'm shamelessly plugging kit, another thing you might want to consider, if you like doing a little bit of spannering yourself, 
in the old uh, garage to save yourself a bother too. What you need is a proper workshop manual. Proper workshop manual. Invaluable. And uh, I don't mean a Haynes or, you know, an extended handbook or anything like that. I mean a proper workshop manual that the, uh, the technicians would use at a dealership. So, have a look at e-manuals online. E-manuals online. They've got full workshop manuals in PDF format for your phone, tablet or computer. For most models of bike, uh, including this one and including the uh, Moto Guzzi V7, Royal Enfield Classic 350 coming shortly to their uh, uh, library and uh, very detailed they are too so uh, I'll just sort of show you here what you can expect to see it's a combination of uh, detailed uh, diagrams exploded views colour photographs everything you need to make sure that you uh, don't come unstuck if you're doing a little bit of spannering or if you're doing a lot of spannering to your own bike and again if you follow the link in the description below and you want to buy an e-manual you will get courtesy of me 20% off 20% off Using promotional code TBW20, TBW20. Aye. A fifth off. It's got to be worth having, hasn't it, that? Very, very useful to have something like that on your phone or on your tablet. Uh, and then you can just... Uh, Oh, your laptop, I suppose. And then uh, just a matter of uh, taking that into the uh, garage or wherever else it is that you do your spannering and tinkering. And uh, behold, you've got uh, pretty much the uh, same detailed manual of reference that a professional uh, technician mechanic would have. Aye, so I uh, highly recommend that to you. So yeah, follow the link below if you want something like that. Uh, just do a quick search on your own bike. And uh, more likely than not that we'll have uh, the relevant workshop manual. Aye. So... That's making some savings by uh, following affiliate links on, on this channel. And uh, well, uh, next thing I'll be reviewing is uh, an another similar system to this. Slightly more expensive, but it's a, a bigger, a bigger um, TFT. It's a uh, a 7 inch TFT like the, uh, the stock one on the bike here uh, and that's from a, a company called Carpuride Carpuride does a, does a similar job but it's a bit bigger so I'll be taking a look at that for you coming up and there'll be a bit of dizzy on that for you as well a bit of discount on that too for you uh, if you want to make a purchase of uh, any Happy Ride kit uh, via the affiliate link uh, on the video when it comes out in uh, probably a couple of weeks. Aye, so that's got that to hey, hey, shameless plugging 
out of the way but I'm not going to recommend to you anything that I haven't tried and tried thoroughly and found to be of some use and value. Aye, so, yeah, that BMW GS Adventure, the new one, the 1300 one. I, I just like it. Uh, somebody called it Tonka Toy Lutz. Um, <laughs> I suppose it has. A bit Tonka Toy, a bit, a bit Cyberman. Hey, a bit, uh, a bit steampunk. But I just admire BMW for being so radical. And I suspect when things settle down in a year or two, the looks will be no big deal with that there bike. As you can probably see, I'm back to a helmet mounted camera for reasons that I did explain in the uh, either the last video or the one before that. Hope the views are alright for you. If it ain't, you'll never know, because I just won't put the video up. Well, hey! But if you're watching this, it must be half decent. But let me know. But yeah, uh, 95 plus percent of you good people thought that the, uh, the new uh, GS Adventure is as ugly as sin. <laughs> oh dear. But uh, yeah, at, uh, I think the start at something like 18,500, but if you want it spec'd up to the level that this air bike spec'd up to, 25 grand. And a lot of people said, I'd rather have your CF Moto than that £25,000 BMW. And uh, yeah, good point indeed. You could nearly get uh, nearly three of these <laughs> for the price of one of them. So, uh, just a quick hit, really. Um, just to sort of touch on uh, a lot of the feedback about the new Beamer. To tell you about e-manuals. E-manuals online. Tell you about that. And a bit more kit that I'm going to be reviewing in a week or two. And the fact that all is well now at... 1,117 miles on the CF Moto, loving it. And uh, just to check out this here new helmet mount for the camera. It seems that every other YouTuber currently is switching from GoPro to DJI's because of reliability issues with the GoPro and battery life that's another one isn't it I will not be switching imminently I do get really annoyed when that the Hero 10 just stops recording for no obvious reason doesn't do it all the time but occasionally it does but it's very obvious when it does so it's not as if I'm, I'm losing a lot of footage uh, and touch wood the uh, Hero 12, which is the camera I've got on the helmet here, uh, that does not lock up. I've had it, how long have I had it? Over a year, I guess. And uh, it's never given me any sort of issue whatsoever. And I know the DJI is a good kit and the, the battery life's a good bit better. But with the Enduro battery, the white battery, I get about an hour and 15 minutes at 4K on the Hero 12. So 
so that's uh, more than double the standard battery and uh, I still think that the picture quality out of the GoPros is better than DJI all the uh, DJI footage I've seen uh, which is very very good indeed at 4k but it's uh, not quite got the depth and range of colour of the GoPros particularly if the GoPros from the Hero 10 upwards 10, 11 and 12 it's not quite as good not as saturated the colour the colour doesn't look um, quite as saturated and the image to my eyes doesn't look as uh, shall we say refined and subtle as the uh, the GoPro hey so that's just my two penneth hey so anyway that be that uh, thanks for watching this far if you have please please will you click subscribe if you haven't already it makes a massive difference to me so so many of the people the vast majority of the people that watch this channel don't subscribe to it and it don't cost you a penny not now not ever and it's just one little click or one little tap of a button and you're subscribed so if you could do that for me I would be eternally grateful because it massively helps me to continue with the channel all right we're back on the boring dual carriageway now so I will bid you farewell uh, till the next time and in the meantime ride safe be kind and of course I'll see you.